Hey YouTube, how's it going? Retro Dave here, back again. Um, this is the second time I've recorded this video. Um, I've got right to the end um, of the first take and the focus mostly fucked up. I couldn't get the thing to focus, it's all blurry and I just fucking turned it off and basically it start, basically started again. So I have the camera at a different angle this time. Um, I think how I've had the camera before, um, when I'm holding the boxes up, the game's up, it's reflecting off of the light um, and it's kind of just fucking the, the focus up so I'm trying this way um, a slightly different angle just to see if it will help so I'll start again so this is a um, uh, pickup video NES box complete games um, I'm saying as you know I'm kind of swapping out my loose carts for box complete in mint or as very good condition as possible uh, games and um, I've got nine to show um, I have got another nine or ten to come but I'm going to do them in a second part, so I'll come back to those. So the nine I've got here, um, are just the first nine picked off the shelf. I kind of just got to grab the nine and put them on the side. Um, and one of them is PAL. The rest are American, USA imports. Um, so we'll get straight down to it, basically. Um, I'll try and be as enthusiastic as I was in the first take because um, you know I've had the chit chat and uh, now it's kind of wasted because. The camera fucked up, but we'll uh, we'll get back to it. So first of all, guys, cheers. Hope you're having a good Easter weekend. Whatever you're up to. Oh dear. That's Red Bull, by the way. I cheated because I've had my pint. I don't want to stay up. Um, you can see it behind me if you can. There's a pint and there's the Red Bull. Um, <laughs> I want to kind of stay up because it's now. What time is it? Uh, half past eleven. I want to start get some gaming done. I haven't done any gaming yet. I've been watching YouTube, uh, watched a few people's videos, I need to catch up on. We'll get this done. Then I'm going to start for a few hours and play some games. So let's crack on. Stop chatting shit, Dave. Right. So, first one box upgrade. Um, one I've got is pretty battered, no manual. Works, the cart is fine, but the box now is pretty smashed in. Um, not an expensive game, so happy to upgrade it. And it's super off road. Um, with hang tab, not that that's majorly important, but as you can see, it's in really lovely shape. Um, you know, I'll get a bit of a uh, fluorescent light tube reflective porn going on. Someone on Twitter said that that um, is enough to turn a man. <laughs> so, uh, there we go, a bit of edge wear. I'm hoping that the camera's gonna fucking play ball this time, because I've had some fucking problems with this camera. And it's bastard focus, so. There we go, it's looking hunky-dory. I'm sure most of you already know, uh, there's a little bit there I knew about that, um, but that is it. I'm sure most of you know what this game's about. Classic arcade game, um, for those that aren't familiar, don't fuck around. There we go. Nice and simple, um, no frills, racing, um, really cool little game. Um, once you get past like 20 or so rounds, it's pretty easy because You've earned enough money to upgrade and max your truck out and have everything um, at max capacity. As long as you've got enough money for the extra turbos or nitros, whatever they are, um, you can pretty much win all the time. So it can get a little easier towards the end of the game. Um, it's definitely best played with the older four player or at least another player. Um, but if you're on your own, it's good to throw on and have a game on for 15, 20 minutes. So well worth picking up. And this was like less than 10 quid delivered. This was a fucking steal. Um, and in this condition, I mean, it's literally like, it's like brand new. It's all bagged up. Fantastic condition, fantastic price. Very, very happy um, to have that one upgraded. So that's super off-road. Classic NES game. Next game, I can't really tell you much about it because I haven't actually played it. Um, I had a loose cart of it. I bought it in a bundle of um, loose import carts that I had last year. I know I had several um, pickup videos with import carts she's on. This is one I've upgraded just because I saw it for real cheap. Um, just scrolling through the feed as you do, um, kind of working off the list, which I know is a bit of a dangerous thing to do. Um, spotted this, knew I needed it as a box copy. It was really cheap. I think it was like 15 quid um, and about five, six pound import. It's, it was up 18, 20 quid all in, I think. It's something like that, but it was really good to get it complete and it's Star Tropics. So it's basically like an RPG. If you've played um, any of the Dragon Warrior games, um, it looks a bit like that um, in the way it plays, um, like top down on the map and stuff. But it's basically an R uh, RPG. Um, 
uh, tropical adventure of epic dimensions it says in the back so there's a bit of back bump if you're into that kind of thing so there's some screenshots so yeah I'm yet to actually play this um, I've, all I've done is put it in turn it on and make sure it works and, this, and the game save works that is as far as I've got with this game um, so I really can't give you any any info on it other than it's in very nice condition um, and it's uh, NES RPG that I'm looking forward to giving it a try and I say for the price it's got to be worth giving it a shot Star Tropics, there is a sequel to this it's uh, Star Tropics 2 Zelda's Revenge I have got that, loose cart um, on the burp pardon me, so yeah at some point I'll probably grab that as well but I saw this and just had to get it so Star Tropics next game fantastic uh, side scrolling um, beat em up um, there's a SNES sequel which is obviously far superior um, but for the NES this is still a solid solid game um, and it's really hard um, to find this box complete and in nice condition lots of loose carts around you can pick up a loose cart you can probably import the game loose cart for probably 20 quid 15 20 quid um, but to get a box one is really hard to find um, and I just happened to stumble across this at the right time and just kind of grabbed it on a bike now straight away um, it's Batman Returns. Um, I've got the SNES version. Um, I got that fairly recently. Um, but this is a fantastic game. Uh, well worth picking up. Some people don't like it. Some people just think it's not as good as the other ones. But um, I really enjoy the game. Um, I love the old school Batman games. So it's real nice. There's a couple of little tiny dinks in the box. But I mean it's you know really nice condition nonetheless. So there's the back, there's some screenshots, I hope the camera's going to not fuck up. So if, you, if you're familiar with the SNES version, it's basically the same lines, but on the NES. I really like it, again, um, it's just a fantastic game. And uh, uh, Konami and Capcom, if you've got a Konami and Capcom game, um, you can't go far wrong on the NES really. So, fantastic game. If you can get it, get it, well worth playing. Batman Returns. Okay, so I'm out for the Red Bull. Wet the whistle. Oh, gosh, fucking. I've had a pint in the same glass, and I think it's kind of like mixed a little bit. Fucking got an after fucking zing. Okay, next game. Um, I had this, I got this in the last year. Um, Cart and Manual in mint condition. You might remember the video when I'll show you what it is. Um, now, this is a game I never actually thought I was going to get box complete. I thought I was going to have to settle for a custom case for this one because um, it's really difficult to get um, box complete and when it does come up it goes for normally quite a bit of money um, and I'll go with, with the import charge on top I was thinking oh it's just such a pain in the ass to get this game um, but somehow I just found it um, in Europe so I imported it without having to pay any customs charges so I was well happy with that and I've done a deal out of eBay as well so everyone's a winner um, and the game is Uninvited. Um, really love the artwork on this game. As you can see, the uh, skeleton there is awesome. I used to love all the old skeleton stuff back in the day, like glow the dark skeletons and all that kind of thing, and bones. And I think it's a young kid you do, don't you? Um, maybe it's just me, who knows? But yeah, really love the box art on this one. Um, really cool. And again, it's the same, you can read that little blue label there, from the makers of Shadowgate and Deja Vu. So, Shadowgate, point and click adventure. Um, by Kemco, same as this. Deja Vu I got for Christmas, same kind of game, same format, point and click adventure. And this is the same thing, um, this is a different story. Um, so there's the back, you can kind of see the similarities between Shadowgate and this, and Deja Vu if you're familiar with it. But yeah, this is a really difficult game to find, box complete. Well, I, I mean, I've looked for it before, um, and you don't often come across a box one. If you do, it's normally in, in really shit condition. So the only problem with this box is it has got a crease on this side, um, but I was happy to let that go considering the cost of to get one um, and import it and the charge on top. I was happy to you know have that crease and pay a lot less than I normally would do. Um, so I'm happy with that. Other than that, as you can see, it is in absolutely lovely condition, um, and this side is perfect. Again, apart from that little mark there, but it, it is in really nice condition. So it's uninvited box complete really happy to have this one um, so that's a nice upgrade 
and well worth picking up if you're in that kind of thing. So next one, um, by the other one, okay, so these, these next two games come off the same seller. Um, this was the second game I spotted, so I've, I searched out one game, uh, which is the next one I'm going to show, and that came up, and then I looked at his other listings, and he had this one, and I kind of bundled them together and had the postage of the same. So this was basically an, like, an extra game, so for the sake of paying, what is it, like $20 shipping, I got this game thrown in with it um, as well, so um, well happy with that. Never played it before. It's um, a, a side-scrolling like platform game. Um, yeah, I've never played it, so I can't say much about it. But it looks pretty cool. Um, by Jeleco, and it's a Steinex. I about to say pronounce it right. So um, box art, nothing too fantastic, but it's um, in nice shape. There is some like weird sticker residue on the top which I'll come to in a minute but I think that's where something's been removed previously and you'll see it in a minute on the top here see almost as if um, the tape has been I don't know why I have no idea why someone would tape the top of this box because there's nothing wrong with it um, but it must be removed with like WD-40 or something um, to get it off it's not, it's, not, it's not sticky it's no residue at all it's just kind of stained it Bit of a shame, but you know, the game was dirt cheap and I can live with it. So, we kind of tore the box if you like. It's a few little little tiny creases, but again, this was you know 10 15 quid, so I'm not going to grumble. Um, so, basically, some screenshots if you can see that. Basically, side scrolling action game, platform game, beat em up, slash em up. Not too sure, but I'm sure I'll do a gameplay of it at some point. I'll keep saying that, but I will get around to doing it eventually. And um, I've got a massive backlog, as I'm sure you're all aware. So, a Star Nex, I'm happy to pick this one up and it come with the other game, which I'm going to show you now. So, this game is one I've been after for a while, um, and I just haven't found a decent copy. Um, there's loads of loose carts knocking around. Um, but I, for the, by the time you've bought it, imported it, paid the postage and all the rest of it, you might as well just spend that little bit extra money and get a nice box one. So that's what I was waiting for. Um, this one came up um, and I was really happy to get it. The game is Shatterhand, or Shatterhand, however you want to say it. Artwork on the front of the box, not overly impressive. I mean, you might think it looks pretty cool. It is pretty cool, but I just... It, I don't know, it, the, like the JL Echo art box art, I just don't think of brilliant, I think they're kind of just a bit bit cheesy perhaps, I don't know, but but the game is brilliant, I, I mean th th this, this is just like, if you saw this on the shelf back in the day, I don't think you'd kind of pick it up, if that makes sense, because the game is totally kind of like, it's much better than the box advertises. Does that kind of make any any fucking sense? I don't know. Like, if you see a Castlevania box, you look at the art and think, wow, that looks fucking awesome. You pick it up, look at the back and think, fucking hell, this game's awesome, and you, you buy it, right? But to look at that on the shelf, you think, oh, it, it just doesn't look very inspiring, I don't think, but the gameplay is fucking wicked, right? And that's why this game is just well worth getting. Um, so let's go back to the bit of box porn first, it's just, just, just do like one, step, one step at a time rather. Really lovely condition. So as we go to the back we'll get some screenshots. So as you can see, I'm not too sure if any of you are familiar with kind of like power blade or that kind of thing, but I think it's it, it looks a little like that. And almost like the first Batman, uh, Batman on the NES, it kind of looks similar style and gameplay to that um, and you basically you can get power-ups to help your way through um, it's a really good game solid game I don't know I, just, I really like it so uh, if you can get it if you can pick it up cart somewhere or whatever um, and you want to try it out it's definitely worth giving it a shot and that is Shatterhand again let's um, have a swig and a drink keep me awake next two games are um, cartridge upgrades and again I never thought especially this one I never thought I'd get this box because it never comes up in decent condition 
It's a really, really popular um, classic NES game. Um, and I'm assuming that a lot of the kids back in the days, the boxes would have got fucking trashed because the game was played so much. Um, and to see this in this condition, it is, I'd say, about a 9 out of 10, 9.5 out of 10. Um, there's a few light marks in it, but it's really hard, I think to get box complete as far as I know um, I haven't seen many and I saw this and had to get it and the game I'm banging on about is Contra fantastic game I don't need to say much more than that classic classic NES game must own um, in the collection obviously Probotector is the UK version exactly the same game apart from the not humans that are robots machines so let's do a bit of a uh, tour of the box. Now you can see there's some, some light marking. I have tried wiping that off, but I'm not too sure. It's just minor scuffing to the box. But it is in really nice condition considering the age of the game. So I'll give you a bit of a... Yeah, I'm getting used to trying to do it at this angle. My eyes are probably all over the place and look, not looking at the lens, but it's that or look at a fuzzy picture. So there we go, we go around, 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 and there's the back, again it's in lovely shape, just a few like, set, like scuffing like shelfware to the box there, and on the side, but again it's, I mean this game needs no, no explanation whatsoever, it's Contra, it is what it is, um, it's, a, it's a definitely, a definitely a must have in the collection, um, and again if you want to have a little blast, put the Konami code in, and get 30 lives. Happy days. So there we go. That is Contra. And uh, off the same seller, he had the sequel, Super C. And now this artwork is fucking awesome. Look at this. Just love how they've done like, the Super as well. And you got the monster there and the helicopter. And it's just fucking awesome. Now, the, this is what I'm saying. When you, you see this on the shelf, you know, Back in the early 90s or late 80s, you see that and you think, fuck me, that looks awesome. Like the silver and the colours, like how they pop out of the box. And you look at that and you think, fucking hell, I need to pick this up. And you pick it up, you turn it over, you go, yeah, fucking hell, this looks awesome. You know, and that's why these games sold, you know. Surely you look at the box and you think, this looks amazing. Um, and you trust the name, you know. Konami, Capcom, you can't go far wrong. Um, yeah, so that's just going back to my point about Shatterhand. I just think these made such an effort um, with the box art. Fantastic stuff. So let's go look over the box. Again, very light edge wear and stuff like that on the top. But again, quite hard to find in decent condition. There's the little crease there. Again, I'm not too worried. I mean, they are in very nice shape, nevertheless. Back. There we are. So Super C. So basically, it plays very similar to the first one. Um, the third one in the series, Contra Force, isn't nowhere near as good as the first two. I do have it, but I have it loose cart in a um, custom case um, because the price of that one box complete is just not worth paying, to be honest. Um, I may get it one day, but I'm not in any hurry. I'm only trying to get the games that I really, really want to have box complete for now and then go back to the other ones uh, later on. So anyway, Super C, rambling on. Now, this could get uh, interesting. So <laughs> I've got um, this game, uh, Loose Cartridge. So it's not a common, sorry, it's not a rare game. Um, it's a common game, not worth a great deal. So the Loose Cartridge I've got, nothing wrong with it, but I wanted a box one. So. I wanted to get an America one because I think it's full screen, all the rest of it, 60 hertz, all that. And um, I looked on eBay and I found this one. Now <laughs> I'm just trying to do it without fucking messing it up. So it's basically brand new. It's factory sealed, and I'm not a sealed collector at all. Um, and I I wanted it with the intention of playing it. So you might well say, well, why didn't you buy an open one or whatever? But to import one that was used and in good condition, I would have spent the same money as I spent on this one that was in the UK 
and it's factory sealed. So I might as well buy the, the one in the UK that's new and then just have that because it's, what's the, I might as well have a new one, do you know what I'm saying? So I bought this with the intentions of playing it. Now, having it factory sealed, it's also um, been archived in uh, a case. Now, I'm going to try and show this as carefully as I can. So, it's been VGA graded, uh, Operation Wolf. Now, this does look pretty cool, admittedly. Um, but, I bought this with the intention of playing it. Now, I'll put this up on Instagram and on uh, Twitter as well. And I know Pete's this tastic was fucking cursing me when I said, I want to open this. He's like, no, don't do it, don't do it, don't do it. Um, and if you're a seal collector, you're probably not going to like what you're about to see. But, um, you know, games are meant to be played, uh, not meant to be kept, you know, in plastic cases. Um, and I, I bought it to play it. I bought it because I wanted to play it. So what I did, <laughs> ready for the Blue Peter part, <gasps> it's out. So I basically bust the bottom of the box out. So fuck the case, and the, it's, it's all right. But all this is, right, let me show you something. All it is, is a bit of power specs, if that, even if it's that at all. That's it, and you get a sticker on the back of it, in the top. That's all it is, a little sticker, uh, and it says 80 near mint, Operation Wolf. Means nothing to me, I'm not bothered about this, right? So that's gonna go in the bin. This is what I care about, the game. Now, the game is obviously in mint condition. Um, it's still sealed. But that's about to change, because I'm gonna open this fucking game, and I'm gonna open it on camera right now. Um, and I'm gonna play it. I've got a loose cartridge. In fact, there it is. There's the power version loose cartridge. But this is going away, I've already arranged to send this to someone, so this is getting gifted to another YouTuber, um, not going to tell who it is right now, um, it's in absolutely perfect condition, nothing wrong with that, look, it's mint, but I want a box one, and I want an American one, so that's what I got, American Operation Wolf, box complete, brand new, factory sealed, there's a couple of little marks on the on the back, on the, here look, but I don't care about that. I bought it to play it. Now, you could say, Dave, you're contradicting yourself because you've got the Power Glove and you've got those other two games, the Power Glove, brand new sealed. Yeah, that's true. Um, but they're not as hard. This is a common as fuck game. It, it, it was like 35, 40 quid um, all in. So, who cares? I want to open it. And I, one day, I might just decide to open the glove and the two games and play it. Like I said, you know, they're meant to be played. Um, I'm very tempted just to get the glove, open it up and play it. You know, because in the day, I bought it with the intention of wanting it and I'm not going to sell it on. Um, I'm going to keep it, so I might just open it up and play the fucking thing. But I bought this with the intention of playing it. So let's turn this off first. It's doing my fucking brain in here, that bastard thing. Repeat itself. Let's put something else on quick. And um, we'll open this up. Let's put a bit of Street Fighter 2 Turbo on. Right. So, Operation Wolf. <laughs> Pardon me. We're going to open it up right now. I'm not going to pull the paper package off. I'm just going to be sensible and open the top, right? So, if you're a silk collector, you might want to look away right now because you probably won't like seeing this be opened up. I'm going to be really careful not to damage the the box at all. Just just gently gonna cut the um, cellophane on the front. Just have to be really 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 careful because I don't want to damage the box at all. Let me see this one just literally cutting the top of it. This is what I mean, you know games are meant to be played and I'm going to play the fucking game and I'm going to stick it in the sentinel case and I'm going to enjoy it so there we go people factory sealed game no longer factory sealed 
Who cares? I'm not bothered. Right, so let's tear the top of that seal off. Bang. It's done. The damage is done. So this is the first time this game has seen daylight since probably 1989, 1990, that kind of era. I'm really carefully going to lift the top open and open it up. He says because the cellophane is still really tight in the box. So let's try and there we go, lift this open. There we go. So this is brand new unboxing for the very first time. Never been out of the box. Brand new. Happy with that. Let's get it out. Let's have a look. let's go to town on this, shall we? Look. Look at this. Out of the VGA. And I'm opening it up. Brand new game. Now you might think I'm crazy, but I don't care. So it's so what do we get? What do we get? Manual. Lovely. Still smells factory fresh. I'm not surprised. You get poster. You get registration card and the Nintendo Power Magazine uh, leaflet to sign up. So let's get the game out of the bag. First time it's been touched in, in over 20 years. Uh, here she comes. And there we go. Pucker. Wow, there we go. So this is the first time since I've been a kid, I've opened a brand new, officially licensed NES game. There we go, look at that. Brand spanking new. No label lift either, and I was a bit concerned. I thought the end label might lift up because it hasn't been used, because they do sometimes start to lift. Um, but no, and that's obviously absolutely pristine, as to be expected. So that's really nice, really nice to have a uh, brand new game. Like I said, the games I'm buying, um, like this, I'm not going to sell it. So I haven't lost anything because I'm not going to sell it. I'm going to keep the fucking thing and I'm going to play it. So if you think, oh, well, you know, you've paid 40 quid for it, but now it's worth 10 quid, don't give a fuck because I ain't selling it. I'm going to play it. I'm going to stick it back up, put it in the bag in a minute, I think. Cause not going to go back in, is it? Can it tuck it in? Yeah, so um, it's there to be used, there to be enjoyed. Um, I didn't want to spend, you know, 30, 40 quid in importing a used one um, when I could just buy one in the UK, brand new, and have it brand new and uh, be the first person to open it and enjoy it and have it in a central case and happy days, really. So let's put that back in. So I'm still waiting for some Sentinel cases to arrive, so when they do arrive, that'll be uh, going straight in one of them. There we go, it's back in, that's fine, happy with that. And um, I shall stick it straight in a Sentinel case, just like that. There we go. Operation Wolf, open for the very first time um, since it's been packaged up. No worries. Like I said, maybe I'll open the Power Glove um, and the games, um, because I did say I might get another one, but... Um, Fuck it, you know, crack it open. So I'm on the verge of doing it, just opening it up, just fucking using it, because I'm not going to sell it on. Um, you know, so I haven't lost nothing. I'm going to keep it and keep it in mint condition, so maybe I'll bust it open and do a gameplay in the near future, who knows. So anyway, enough crazy talking and waffling. Um, I'm going to leave it there, get some gameplay done. It's now bloody, uh, what, one? Um, no, it's not, it's midnight. Midnight? I can't fucking lose the track of time here. Yeah, midnight. So I'm off. Uh, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. And uh, in the next week, I shall put up the next batch of mint games to show. Take it easy, guys, and I'll catch you in a bit.